What's up guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of Team Minus 365. In today's episode, I'm going to be covering all the updates in January 2022 from Microsoft. If you've watched my update videos in the past, you know I focus in on what's relevant to the MSP space and block out all the noise from the 100 or so announcements that come from Microsoft each month. Getting into it here though, I'm going to start off with Microsoft Teams as we usually do. This first announcement is related to the general availability of the walkie-talkie feature as part of Teams now. This is a push-to-talk experience that you can set up within the Teams Admin Center. I'll link instructions on how to do that within my blog that supplements this video here. But just note that you can start to do this across your customer tenants. Next one here is related to the Teams phone with calling plan offering. This is just a new licensing offer here that will eventually replace Business Voice long term. It's combining phone system and domestic calling plan which you previously had to purchase as two separate line items here. And also a big announcement is that they're bundling in audio conferencing as well with the base plan of Teams so you don't have to purchase that as a separate license as well too. Just note that if you have Business Voice today, you will be converting this eventually. There's a timetable behind this. I'll have more information in, in the blog as well too. But essentially here, it should make your licensing a little bit easier for customers that are using this. This is already GA. They are having a small bug though in their latest announcement with being able to bolt this on into the business plans. So hopefully that should be cleared up soon, but then you can begin the purchase after that. Next one here is related to Stream. It's pretty straightforward here. They're just adding this comment experience, so thread here within the video itself. And this is something much like if you're familiar with the experience in Word or, or PowerPoint, they're adding as well. This will happen in early February and be complete by late February. Shifting into the admin experience here, this first one is related to some reporting from OneDrive and the sync health around OneDrive. This isn't a public preview and there's some additional steps you would have to take to get into the public preview. But essentially here is giving you a lot more metadata around any type of uh, alerts or errors within the OneDrive sync experience or the known folder move. So hopefully this could help you out with any triage events for any support tickets you might get, as well as becoming more proactive on certain incidents that might be occurring on the devices here in which your customers are using OneDrive. This will happen in mid-January, be complete by late January, so if you're in the public preview, you may have already started to see this today. This next one here we've updated in the past here, but we just got some more uh, updatable timelines on when this will become available. But essentially here, Microsoft Defender for Business is going to be bolted into Microsoft 365 Business Premium. It's a pretty big deal because you're now getting endpoint detection response, threat and vulnerability management capabilities within Microsoft Business, offering at no additional cost. And there is multi-tenancy available through Lighthouse as well too. So it begs the question of evaluating that against other third-party vendors. There's nothing additional you have to do when this becomes available. It will just be in the 365 Admin Center and you can configure the settings in the Defender Portal as well. So that will happen late February be complete by early March. The next one here is related if you are using the Defender for Office 365 licensing. This is for the SafeLink Safe Attachments functionality here, just some more in, uh, involved reporting against the click activity that you have within the tenant here. I'm not going to get into the details there, you can check more about that if you would like. But essentially here this will be coming at the end of March and be complete by early April. Last announcement here just related to NewCommerce. Uh, you should be familiar with this by now, I've certainly been doing a lot of posts myself on this topic. But this did become available as of January 10th here. And that means that you are now able to do upgrades, quote unquote upgrades, into new commerce products from your legacy products that you have today, as well as purchase new commerce products net new. There's those two time bound promotions that we have right now. We get 5% off of the annuals and price locking until March uh, or the end of March. And then you also have the monthlies being at annual rates until the end of June. And then after that's when they go up by 20%. So just know this is a pretty big deal because it's an impending event for everybody on the legacy offerings right now. Starting in July, you'll no longer be able to either purchase or continue existing subscriptions as they are today on the, on the legacy plans. You'll have to move everybody into these new contracts. So check out my blog if you want to see more information on that. But that's all the announcements that I wanted to cover in this video. And essentially here, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, like or subscribe if you guys want to see more content around Microsoft and the MSP space. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.